Good evening, Good evening, students, staff, and community members of Plum Borough. I am Justin Stevens, and I am proud to be your Plum Senior High School Principal. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2017. Tonight is an evening of recognition, reflection, and celebration. I would like to extend a special thank you to the following. Mr. John Deleuze and our choir members. Senior choir members, you may now join the choir. Mrs. Bethany Lloyd and our band members. Mr. Rick Rott and the television production crew. 
Mr. Doran Chat for tonight's sound. The Air Force Junior ROTC for the presentation of our nation's colors. The Girls Leaders Association and National Honor Society for providing student assistance in various capacities this evening. The entire Plum Senior High School staff for their planning, assisting, and organizing the entire graduation process. I am sincerely thankful to you. I would also like to thank all the elementary, junior high, and high school staff members in attendance this evening who welcome our students into the ceremony. Also, we need to recognize the following individuals within the district that in some way contributed to your educational journey from kindergarten through 12th grade and have made this evening's ceremony possible. Central Administration Superintendent and Assistant Superintendent the school board directors, bus drivers, custodians, maintenance personnel, paraprofessionals, food service workers, and administrative assistants have all played significant roles to support your education. We extend our thanks to each and every one. Most importantly, we extend our thanks to the parents and guardians. Students, let's give a round of applause to your parents and guardians. Class of 2017, you have had your share of ups and downs during your school journey, but you were resilient, you were successful. I am honored to be a part of your journey. In spite of the negativity that sometimes surrounds us and tonight's event, today is a celebration of all that is good in Plum, our school, our staff, and our community. Everyone here tonight knows, everyone here tonight participating in our celebration knows how special Plumborough is. I have the privilege of witnessing it every single day. We have high expectations for you, and we are humbled by the confidence you have placed in the district to meet these expectations. I'm excited about the future for each of you. You have the potential to achieve anything that you desire. Set a goal, make a plan, and work hard to achieve your success. To the, the class of 2017, 2017, the late Steve Jobs said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Class of 2017, the future is yours, and I congratulate you. Students, staff, and audience, please stand for the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your hats for the presentation of colors by Plum's Air Force JRTC and the singing of the national anthem.
Thank, Thank you. you. You may, you may be, be seated. seated. I would, I would like, like to introduce our two outstanding seniors, Skylar Kutzner and Justin Sembauer. Whether that means becoming a nurse, a photographer, a mechanic, a fireman, or even a professional athlete. After today, it is going to be our job to help make this world function. Your classmates are going to become your doctors, your insurance agents, your therapists, and your dentists. But it is up to you to decide how you are going to make an impact. Many of us will go to college, others will go to trade school, some will go directly into their full-time job, and, and a few will even serve, serve our country in the military. No matter which path you take, everyone shares the same goal of becoming a successful, functioning member of society. One thing is certain, none of our goals will be accomplished without some hard work. I believe that in life, you get out of it what you put into it. We have all made it to this point because of our dedication to our education. Everyone was provided the same opportunities in this school but it was your personal duty to take your high school experience and make the most out of it. It is not the information itself that is going to help us become successful, but instead it is what we do with that information. Now, it has taken a lot of effort to be able to speak so fondly of our futures, so let's talk about how we made it to this point. I'll start off with freshman year. The Billboard Charts' number one song at that time was Roar by Katy Perry, and that was probably our victory song after passing the biology system. Aside, Aside from that, that, the worst part of our little freshman lives was having to take swim class, and that made 10th grade seem that much more glorious. Now for sophomore year, the top song on the Billboard charts was Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. This year, students were given the opportunity to take classes at Forbes where they would learn skills in fields such as cosmetology, diesel technology, and emergency response. For some, the most stressful part of sophomore year would be taking literature keystones and for others, it would be taking their very first AP exam. Now, it's pretty amazing to know that some of us were already getting college credit, but others got their very first AP one and had to truly shake it off. We thought these exams were hard, but then came junior year. On the top of the billboard charts was Cheerleader by OMI. Our parents were our cheerleaders during the most stressful part of junior year, which was beginning the process of planning our future. Some of us went on to take the SATs and the ACTs, which aren't easy exams. We all started looking at colleges and careers and began to figure out what our place would be in this world. We would continue to do this during our senior year. At the top of the billboard charts was Closer by the Chainsmokers. This year, we got closer to figuring out who our true friends were and what purpose we had in life. I think most of us can agree that senior year was by no means a blow off year. At this point, most of our day was spent in classes that we were personally interested in. The students at Forbes were continuing their apprenticeships, which would evolve into lifelong careers. A few classmates even chose to take upwards of five AP level exams, which are each challenging in a different way. In addition, every single one of us had to complete a senior project, which included presenting in front of some of the high school staff. Now parents, I'm sure you're very sick of hearing about that project, but, but I'd, I'd like, like to say, say on behalf of all of us, us thank you for dealing with us during that rough time. time. I think I it's safe to say we've experienced a lot together. The hardest part about today is knowing that we'll see some people in a couple weeks at the graduation party, but others we may never see again. Outside of awkwardly standing in line to find them at the grocery store. Now I'd like to end this by saying thank you to all the wonderful staff here at Plum High School for providing us the tools we will use for the rest of our lives. Thank, thank you to our family, family and friends for supporting us. I personally like to thank my mom because she has been my personal inspiration throughout all of this. And to the class of 2017, we are about to officially become a Plum Knife.
Congratulations, <laughs> and, and I, I wish, wish you all the best, best of luck in everything, everything you do. do. I'd like, like to introduce my fellow outstanding senior, Justin Zembar.
unfortunately, there are many people who are not with us tonight. To my friends and fellow classmates who have lost a mom or dad too soon, our hearts go out to you. And we need to honor the memory of two of our former classmates, Brent Griffith and Jim Pratt, both of whom tragically passed away. They were both great kids, and their lives were taken away too soon. And if you've heard nothing else I've said tonight, please hear this once more. Cherish this time we have together. Now moving past, past this sadness, we encounter another emotion, emotion. excitement. I know that I'm very excited to see what the future holds for all of us as we all begin new chapters in our lives. I encourage you all to be excited as well. It is a bittersweet time, and there will be lots of tears of sadness and lots of tears of joy. After today, we will all be going in different directions, whether it be to a new job, a new college, or a new technical school. Continue to work hard and enjoy the new environments you encounter. Don't, Don't let, let any obstacles get in your way, way or take you off your path. It will take some time adjusting to our new life, just, just like it took us some time to adjust to high school life. life. But in time, we will adapt and find our new way. And in the words of one of the greatest poets of all time, Dr. Seuss, Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. As much as we were all ready to move on, especially in these last months of school, I think that come fall, we're all going to miss this place. I know that I'm going to miss my friends whom I've grown close with over these past four years, and I'm going to miss my lunch table and some of the craziest and funny stories I would hear every day. I will miss my fellow baseball teammates as they have become like brothers to me over these past four years and the past four seasons, and some of them over the past ten years. Fun will always be a part of all of us graduates here tonight, and that's not bad. We've, We've all shared, shared similar experiences, experiences and, and these experiences create a bond between us. We are all fun Mustangs, and that is something we will have forever. It's, it's been, been nice being part, part of a community that bands together when any one of us is in need. I will always remember and reflect on my time here at PHS, and I encourage you all to do the same as we turn towards the future with excitement. Thank you all for giving me your attention. Good luck to my fellow graduates. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And one last time, congratulations. Thank you. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce our student council president, Nolan Carney. I'm so honored to be the third Carney to speak at a Plum graduation. Graduation, wow. It seems like it was just yesterday I was in my Stone Cold Steve Austin PJs, flipping between SpongeBob and Drake and Josh, eating fruit roll-ups on the couch with my dad yelling, Nolan, get to bed, you graduate tomorrow. So high school is over and we're done. The next, next time, time you come, come in at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, you won't be tardy, you'll be trespassing. The next time you park in teachers, you might be starting your first day at a new job. The next time you see Mr. Zarmack in the hallway, it'll be at a mall or a bank. Odds are he's still going to dress coach you, but the man loves what he does. Being able to stand up here and represent my class and community, it's an honor. I'm here not because I'm the valedictorian or because I'm an athlete. I know I can see the surprise in all your faces, but I was the student council president. I actually received 100% of the votes this year. Yeah, I, I ran unopposed, but that's neither here nor there. I think that overall my stint as the student council president was a success. We fixed up the courtyard, we raised thousands for local charities through Powder Puff, we donated thousands of books to our book drive, and Mrs. Armack, I will get those books out of the classroom. And we even eliminated the Velociraptor problem in the G-Wing. Now I know what you're thinking, what Velociraptor problem? To that I say, you're welcome. But, but despite, despite all the jokes, jokes I am going to miss this place. 
all, all this, the, the teachers that made school fun even though it wasn't in their job description. I'm going to miss the student sections, the bonfires, the long summer nights, and the short winter weekends. I'll miss the best lunch ladies in the state of Pennsylvania, and I'm going to miss all of you. We've grown up a lot together as a group. Some of you have seen me at my best, some of you have seen me at my worst. Some of you I can see are turning to the person next to you saying, who is this guy? But that's okay, because like it or not, we did this together, and it's been a ride. I remember freshman year, walking around the halls, trying not to get lost through the endless twists and turns of a new school. My brother's friends showing me where all my classes will be. And now, in three months, I'm going to be doing the same thing all over again. And I suppose that's just the circle of life. But fast forward a few football games, some dances, a Stanley Cup, SATs, some parties with friends, and even a couple of heartaches, and here we all are. I'm not going to lie, senior year was a lot of fun. A mixture of coming in late and leaving early. Senior year, I think, was a lot like cardio. I didn't do either of those things. But despite all the study halls and all the early dismissals, I did learn a lot senior year. You see, I learned more about myself this year than I ever thought I could have. I learned that friendships and relationships come and go. I learned that if you can't be happy by yourself, then you won't be happy with anybody else. Happiness comes from being happy with who you are, and the more you seek happiness in others, the more miserable you'll be. Now, I'd like to give thanks to all those who inspired me personally. The friends that I've met along this journey, the teachers that never gave up despite some of the obstacles they have faced these past few years. My family, my brothers for either kicking my butt or having my back. My father, you taught me that growing up is not about never making a mistake, but rather always righting your wrongs. I was never afraid to be honest with you, and that is something I'll always be thankful for. You taught me how to be a man without ever actually taking me camping or using a chainsaw or shooting a deer or making your own beef jerky. So thank you, Dad. And of course, my mother. She taught me two of the most valuable life lessons I've ever learned. The first being, you're capable of anything you put your mind to. When I was eight, she was given six months to live. She turned six months into four years and never gave up, no matter what anyone tried to tell her. And two, every new day is a blessing. We think of someone like my mother, who was living in extra time for three and a half years as lucky. She, she wasn't, wasn't promised to live as long as she did, did but she overcame the odds. She, she would wake up every morning and thank God for another sunrise. But the truth is, that's no different from any of us. You see, no one is guaranteed anything in this life. To not wake up every day with a smile on your face, happy to be living the life you're living, is selfish and is arrogant. Because every second that you're on this earth is extra time. My mother used to say that everybody has their own form of cancer. Whether it be illness, depression, addiction, or sadness, there is an obstacle in everyone's life. But each day you wake up, you get to choose whether or not to live your life without letting your own cancer get in the way of doing what you love. And that is a blessing. And lastly, I'd like to thank all of you. You guys raised me. You always had my back. When times got tough, someone was always there for me and my family. You would bring us home-cooked meals every day for months. You would ensure I always had a ride to practice. I always had a friend to play with. You guys made it together, lifted my family up when we were down. Wiffle ball tournaments, 5Ks, concerts, yard sales, spaghetti dinners. You guys are here for workers. To everyone that went out of my way the past 18 years to make me and my family feel special, thank you. You see, that's the plot of our line now. Folks on the outside looking in, they don't get it. I don't think everyone here tonight realizes what they've had these past 18 years. Now I know Plum's not perfect, no community is. We've been criticized, we've had our patients tested, but don't let that be the Plum you remember. Remember Plum as it is. Remember the Plum that sent over 200 of your kids to college every year. Remember Plum as it is one of the safest and most livable communities in the country. 
Remember, Remember Juan by the, the bonfires, bonfires with your friends, the basketball games at boys, the late night car rides with those you know who will never leave your heart. Don't be fooled by the few who have tried to make our community feel unworthy, but rather celebrate the fact that everything you are today is because of the people that make this community great. So once again, thank you. I I really feel a special, special connection, connection with this place. I'm, I'm going to miss you guys. I really will. But I'm excited for the next step. step. I chose the path the best fit for me, as I know all of you have as well. And I'm excited to see how the class of 2017 represents our community in the years to come. I'm looking around and I'm seeing future doctors, lawyers, teachers, business owners. And I say with great pride that it all began right here. And over there, and over there, and a little bit over there as well. So now, now our time here is done, and when we throw our caps in the air, the game clock will hit zero, and we'll leave this field for perhaps the final time. So let's get excited to represent our community and leave this school today full of pride, determination, optimism, and sweat, but mainly pride. Thank you. On behalf of the class of 2018, I accept this cap and gown. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2017.
this time, Mr. Gonner and Mr. Zarmack will begin roll call for the class of 2017. Four point oh, high honors. 
Alyssa, Alyssa Monroe, Monroe 4.0, 4 high, high honors. honors. Alexis, Alexis Phillips, 4.0, 4 high, high honors. honors. Lillian Paul, 4.0, high honors. Nicole Palagic, 4.0, high honors. Tyler Plunkett, 4.0, high honors. Jared Schultz, 4.0, high honors. Brianna Schlegel, 4.0, high honors. Justin Sembauer, 4.0, high honors. Mariana Shula, 4.0, high honors. Shannon Sabosley, 4.0, high honors. Aaron Simpkew, 4.0, high honors. Jordan Williams, 4.0, high honors. Vincenzo Cavallo, 4.0, high honors. Olivia Zeroli, 4.0, high honors. Savannah Yaka, 4.0, high honors. Lexis Adrian. Elizabeth Adamchek, honors. Brendan Aku. Jake Agate, honors. Matthew Anzel. Abigail Anderson. Connor Bear. Hunter Abel, high honors. Dylan Barone. Sean Beard. Shannon Barr. Noah Barash. Megan Barrett, high honors. Marge Barrett, honors. Justin Barkley. Matthew Barron, high honors. Sheldon Belgrave. Christopher Bears. Kevin Bell. Jordan Bell. Kenneth Boringer, honors. Dante Bernardi, honors. Sarah Bolte, high honors. Bailey Bolkeback, high honors. Caitlin Boyle, honors. Anthony Borriello, honors. Gabriella Briseño, high honors. Patrick Brennan, honors. Tori Bucci. Kevin Brown. Anthony Capalongo. Chelsea Burton. Jenna Chiquetti. Mauro Catella. Reagan Check. Connor Sensi.
honors. Callie Sayopa. Samantha Crest. Michaela Klein. Bennett Sorelli. Jennifer Collins. Joshua Cochran, honors. Tyler Conklin. Joshua Cooper. Mario Carreno, honors. Jordan Portaza. Alyssa Cotter. Nicholas Coxon. Stephanie Kraft, honors. Madison Cubarney. Kaylee Kershia. Dominic Davidev, high honors. Benjamin Davis. Colin Dieter. Kara DeGrano, honors. Alyssa Diana. Brian Goscat. Hugh Donnelly, high honors. Jessica Dupal. Marissa Durst. Zachary Ekman. Brooklyn Emmeheiser Kamansky. High honors. Michaela Erlojack. Honors. Dallas Esposta. Dylan Fantone. Nina Fischetti. Jake Ferguson. Honors. Timothy Fierce. Megan Fitzroy, honors. Alyssa Fleischman, high honors. Victor Flinko, honors. Jessica Fowler. Roman Franchi. Nicholas Frazetta. High honors. Brandon Galliano. Nicole Gilboy. Alexander Giles. Honors. Jonathan Godleski. High honors. Patrick Goodwin. Grace Gosnell. Frank Guerrero. Mark Gulish. Emma Hall, high honors. Andrew Hearn. Lauren Heckman. Dominic Hodel. Go, 
Jared Holmes. Jonathan Holmes. Cody Hunter, honors. Alexander Highland, honors. Rebecca Highland, high honors. Samantha Highland, high honors. Thomas Highland, honors. Nicholas Ionati, high honors. Theodore Janet, honors. Mark Johnson. Dylan Joyce, high honors. Elena Caldwell. Steven Kavashinsky. Rachel Kelly. Cameron Kennedy. Michael Kenny. Dylan Kinlo. Joshua Kirkpatrick, high honors. Rachel Clippa, honors. James Horner. Todd Conkle, high honors. David Kavortek, honors. Gabrielle Lebovic, honors. Maria Lawhorn, high honors. Nicholas Lawton, honors. Cassidy Leon. Michaela Leontio, honors. Connor Lewis, honors. Jake Lewis, honors. Madeline Lobato. Julia Lodge. Matthew London. Corinne London. Marissa Lynch, honors. Shay Lynch, honors. Sabrina Maggio. Adam Marr, high honors. Natalie Maines. Ryan Malay. Jason Maltese. Brandon Morrison. Tara Marsajanic, high honors. Dominic Marine. Michael Maramonte, honors. Amber Martin, high honors. Miranda Martin. Ryan Mascaro. Max Mastermonica. Jordan Mata, honors. Thomas Matuski, high honors. Shane McCall. Sean McCormick. 
Jacob McGraw. Cora McKee. Julia McKee. Justin McKenna. Megan McRandall. High honor. Graham Merlin. Derek Messenger. May Metzger. Melissa Myers. Honor. Gabrielle Miller. Kaylee Miller. Hunter Mitlow. Tylen Mize. Kayla Boyer, honors. Jason Molinero, honors. Shannon Moran. Dylan Morello. Julia Murphy. Cooper Myers, honors. Alexis Nader, honors. Evan Neff, honors. Dennis Newton. Amanda Nichols, honors. Alexandra Neeser, honor. Andrew Nolan, high honors. Nicole Norcera. Alec Olaf. Tyler Olaf. Madison Pagana. David Palmieri. Gianna Palmieri. Michaela Palmieri. Honors. Evan Papadopoulos. High honors. Amanda Parente. Audrey Paddock. Joseph Pernice. Elliot Peterman. Mark Peterman. Brianna Petrick. Hunter Fowl. Nikolai Penta. Martin Pinovic. Dylan Poe, honors. Riley Palacic, honors. Drew Palenovich. Michael Palenovich. Savannah Proden. Nolan Kuhala, honors. Darian Quirles, honors. Jamie Radisic, high honors. Luke Rose. 
Mackenzie Roberto. Kristen Rose. Matthew Rossi. Danielle Ruffin, honors. Tyler Ruggiero, honors. Joseph Rump. Anthony Saccone, honors. Isabella Stafford. Santina Schofield, Iowa. Michael Scholar, Honor. Brian Sachoka. Madison Sedge. Richard Sedmeyer, High Honor. Lucas Sepelak. Colin Schaefer. Reed Shaw, honors. Jasmine Singh. Jordan Slagle. Keyshawn Smith. Mark Snyder, high honor. Trevor Summer, high honor. Adam Stasco, honor. Logan Stesic, high honor. Quinn Tosowski, honor. Kenneth Sellers. Honors. Richard Stickle. Morgan Stoner. Honors. Ryan Stickle. Brianna Seipel. Jocelyn Stombaugh, honors. Stephen Tassett. Adrian Sykes. Alexander Corral. Andrew Tellerico, honors. Malik Thomas. Emily Tabella. Alexis Tamara, honors. Anthony Terrell. Alyssa Talchik, honors. Ethan Thompson. Daniel Yulianyu, honors. Alexa Thomasis. Kyle Bigboy, high honors. Catherine Trozzi. Caitlin Waite. Logan Valvo, honors. Nicole Weaver, honor. Alexander Vidalian. Nicholas Workman. Ryan Woros. Kaylee Zaleski, high honor. 
Kaylin Wilson. High honors. Kaylin Young. Dylan Zerjev. Honors. Ladies and gentlemen, students and staff, I would like to introduce Mr. Kevin Deldell, President of the Plum Borough Board of School Directors, and he will present the confirmation of the Plum. Congratulations, class of 2017. You did it. My name is Kevin Deldell. I am the president of the Plum School Board. As the president, it is my honor to give the closing remarks at graduation. When I think of graduation day, it reminds me of a girl named Alice. One day, Alice was walking down the road and came to a fork in the road. She noticed a Cheshire cat sitting nearby, and she asked him, which road should I take? The cat answered, where do you want to go? Alice answered, I don't know. Then the cat said, then it really doesn't matter, does it? Like, like Alice, you are at a crossroads in your life and have to decide where to go. Each year, I try to think of one topic to talk about. Last year, my topic was based on a saying that said 80% of success is based on just showing up. This year, my topic is to plan. Research has shown that most, the most successful people in the world create a written plan to achieve their goals. Having goals without a plan is just a dream. Without a plan, dreams are just something to talk about, something most likely you will not achieve. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, it takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. Most people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan, and they never achieve their goal. People have said, how can we plan the future if we don't have a crystal ball? Well, if you have a crystal ball, you wouldn't need a plan. So the best way to perceive the future is to plan it. Over the summer, you may have uh, attended several graduation parties, and people will come up to you and say, follow your dreams. I say, don't follow your dreams, plan your dreams. So my advice to you is to set your goals, create a plan for success, and make the effort to get there. Remember, Remember, if you, you plan, you can. If you don't, you won't. Therefore, by the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby declare the Plum High School class of 2017 officially graduated.